Greetings everyone, and today I got another useful product to share. I reviewed a lot of audio related products recently, and I'll have another one coming as well. But before that, let me share this with you since this channel is all about electronics anyway. So this is a mini DC power meter with a color IPS LCD display. It displays most values you'll need with very good resolution. And that includes capacity measurements as well. So here's the look on its back. And additionally, it has a temperature probe as well. So this is a pretty solid module despite its size compared to this common volt amp meter module here. You see, I used this kind of meter for a long time and the main problem with this is that their accuracy sucks. And on the other hand, this one can be calibrated digitally. So simply hold this upper button to go to its settings to toggle, single press the upper button. The lower button is the OK button. Now to calibrate the voltage and current, you can hold one button to either increase or decrease the value. And holding about half a second, finally adjust it. And it's the same when setting the percentage value here. So this is very helpful if you're into building battery packs because you can set this percentage value depending on your full charge and low battery voltage. Now for this project, I'm going to use this to upgrade my DIY constant current load here and it will now be able to test battery capacities at the same time. And since the ZB2L3 module can only take up to 15 volts DC, this upgrade will able to test up to 200 volts DC. And finally, I can test the capacity of my fake Makita drill battery. And after about 15 minutes, I got it working almost the same as before. All I need to do is calibration. I will calibrate this later, but as you can see, voltage and current was calibrated. Now I'll try its capacity measurement feature and before that, the capacity value saved here should be reset to zero. I wired it already and I'll have it discharged until the BMS under voltage protection kicks. I will need an LVD module if I'm going to discharge batteries without BMS. And after about one hour, I fully discharged it already getting 0.850 amp hours or equal to 850 milliamps hour so this is worse than i expected but now i know why my drill doesn't last long enough because of these batteries and after all the main focus of this video is to share the capabilities of this meter and i hope you got the idea by the way, this meter costs around 370 pesos or about 7 USD. And as usual, I'll put a link in the pinned comments below if you want one. So that will be all for now. Give this video a like and we'll do something else for the next one.